follow the progress. Colorado Springs police officer Jem Dizel, CSPD saying tonight officer Dizel remains in critical but stable condition. He was shot early Thursday morning near Platte and Union and the suspect in that case Karar Al Kamasi was scheduled to be in court today, but he remains in the hospital tonight. His first court appearance has been delayed. And tonight we're learning more about Al Kamasi and his checkered past. New side Zach Thaxton in studio tonight with new information. Zach. The Department of Homeland Security confirms 31 year old Karar Al Kamasi is a refugee from Iraq and has a long rap sheet dating back to 2013. As you mentioned, Al Kamasi is supposed to be advised of the charges against him today in the El Paso County Jail, but he was not among this group today hearing charges against them. Instead, a jail deputy told me Al Kamasi is still in the hospital, won't be jailed and advised until he's well enough to be released. According to Homeland Security, Al Kamasi arrived in the U.S. legally through Chicago in May of 2012, but barely a year later, he started racking up arrests and criminal charges in the Colorado Springs area, including criminal extortion, trespassing, assault, parole violation, DUI, contempt of court, felony menacing, and perhaps most importantly, possession of a weapon by a previous offender. That last charge should have resulted in an immigration hold and possible deportation. That according to Denver-based immigration attorney Jeff Joseph. It could be that the criminal justice system never did those routine checks, that they never notified ICE, or it could be that there was an ICE hold placed, but ICE chose not to take action against him. Now, according to the Associated Press, Al Kamasi was set for deportation before a 2016 federal appeals court ruled that a portion of immigration law defining violent crime was too vague. We are working to confirm that independently with Homeland Security. Al Kamasi now faces charges of attempted first degree murder, among others. If convicted, the attorney you heard from there says that Al Kamasi would likely have his refugee status revoked. He would serve his sentence here and then face deportation back to Iraq. Always watching out for you, Colorado Springs, Zach Thaxton, News 5.